myself and my partner, Mr. Laurel, wrote the beautiful verse. Swell. Uh, may I read you one? Read them. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Twas Christmas Day in the poorhouse, and the boys were feeling blue. The boys in gray were fighting. A Merry Christmas to you. And a Happy New Year to you. We have one here, especially for the ladies. Jingle bells, jingle bells, coming through the rye. I wish you a Merry Christmas, even as you and I. It took the very words out of my mouth. What's the matter with it? No sentiment. Ask him if he's got a mother. That Jenny gets him. You ask him. Did you ever have a mother? Oh. Now you hit me. That's fine. We have one here dedicated to mothers. May I read it to you? Read it. Merry Christmas, Mother. Merry Christmas, Ma. Hi, Mommy, Mommy, and the hot cha-cha. A beautiful thought. I'll take one. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good morning, madam. Pardon the intrusion. Uh, what is your business? Uh, why, we are taking orders for Christmas cards. May we show you our display? No, thanks. I'm not interested. Ask her about if she's got a husband. That Jenny gets him. Uh, pardon the presumption. But you have a husband, of course. Yes. Now, you're right up our alley. We have a little number here, which I think is one of Stanley's tenderest thoughts. Now, just listen to this. A Merry Christmas, husband. Happy New Year's night. I wish you Easter greetings. Hooray for the 4th of July. Now, we call that our four-in-one card. Yes, ma'am. You can use it all the year round. No, thanks. I'm still not interested. <laughs> Why, did we say something to upset you? No. Well, what are you crying for? Oh, you wouldn't be interested in my troubles. Why, on the contrary. I know exactly how you feel. Now, if you wish to confide in me, I will leave no stone unturned to lighten your burden. Won't you tell me? Did someone hurt your feelings? Is it another man? Did you lose your job? So you won't talk, huh? Uh, did you lose something? Yes. I'm afraid I've lost my husband's affection. Oh, he, he still loves me. Doesn't give me the thoughtful attentions he used to. Oh, if there was only just some way I could bring him to his senses, make him realize his neglect of me. You know what? I knew a woman once that had a case just like yours. But you know what she did? She got a fella to make love to her in front of her husband, and it made the husband jealous. Then what happened? Well, eh? So what? Well, when the husband got jealous, his wife knew that he was in love with her, just because he was jealous. 
You see, and if he hadn't have been jealous, then he wouldn't have paid any attention to the fellow that, that made him jealous. See? Well, what'd the husband do? Take a gun and go out and shoot the other fellow? No, when the husband found out he was so pleased that he was jealous, he took his wife in his arms and he kissed her and, and then they went out again and they got married all over. And then he kissed her again. Now, and... just a minute. What happened to the other fellow? Well, when the husband found out he was jealous, he was so pleased that the other fellow had made him jealous, he gave the other fellow a lot of money because it made him jealous and they, they all lived happy ever after. That's a splendid idea. Why don't you do that? I think I will. Oh, will you help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't. Oh, please do. And, and I'll give you $50. $50? How long do you think it'll take to make your husband jealous? Oh, not more than a day. That's a lot of money for one day. Well, you can do it much cheaper by the week. Oh, please help me. Uh, it means so much to me. Pardon me just a minute. Tell me again what happened to the fellow that made love to the wife. Well, when the husband found out that the other fellow was jealous, he, he took him in his arms and then he, he gave his wife a lot of money and then he kissed the other fellow because he made him jealous and they went out and then they all lived happy ever after. Madam? I am at your service. Oh, a thousand <laughs> thanks. Well, uh, what would you suggest? You know, this is a little bit out of my line. <laughs> I have it. What? If my husband saw you kissing me, like he kissed me the first time we met, I'm sure that would make him jealous. Well, how did he kiss you? I'll show you. He had his arms around me, like that. And I put my arms around him, like this. We pressed tightly together. Then his lips met mine. Now, when you hear my husband coming, that's all you have to do. Now look what you've done. Well, she started it. Get me a glass of water. You looking for somebody? Yes. I am looking for the viper that destroyed the sanctity of my home. Why, Pierre, you're not jealous, are you? Certainly I'm jealous. Oh, Pierre, I'm so happy. Now I know you love me. Away, you snake in the grass. Oh, but Pierre, let me explain. There's nothing to explain. I know it all. Oh, don't be foolish. Why, this gentleman means nothing to me. <laughs> not a thing. <laughs> I'll find out. If I divorce her, will you marry her and take care of her the rest of her life? Why, no, sir. No, just as I thought. <coughs> What's that for? It means that at 12 o'clock tonight, here in this room, we will meet in mortal combat. 
A duel to the death. Oh, but Pierre, you're making a terrible mistake. Uh, a mistake, huh? Yeah, Pierre, you realize what you're doing? You, the best shot in all Paris? Why, it'll be premeditated murder. They'll hang you for it. What do I care? I have nothing to live for. Oh, but Pierre, please be reasonable. Why, uh, uh, oh, this gentleman can explain everything. Yes, sir. I remember a fellow once that had a jealous wife. And Ram! You go to your room. Just a moment. Don't you fail to be here tonight at 12 o'clock, or I'll track you to the end of the world. I won't, sir. Now I'll trouble you for your card. Card? Yes. It is the custom of my country to exchange cards after a challenge. Have you got a card? Thank you. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. I'll have two beers, too. Just two beers? Yes, sir. Well, you put me in a nice spot, didn't you? But a nice little fixer-upper you are. You knew a woman once. Haven't you done enough to me? I couldn't help it. Isn't it bad enough that I'm going to be shot at midnight without you making my last few hours miserable? <laughs> you know what? If you don't show up tonight, he won't be able to shoot you. Didn't you hear him say that he'd track me to the end of the earth? Oh, he's full of baloney. You're just the same sometimes. Shoot you. <laughs> How can he shoot you if he doesn't know where we are? He doesn't know where we live. He hasn't got the address. That's right. If he can't find me, he can't shoot me. Certainly. <laughs> Simple. Now, why didn't you think of that before instead of letting me worry all this time? Selfish. Say so you better phone him up and tell him he won't be there. He might have something else to do. That's a good idea. And I'll also give him a piece of my mind. He can't trifle with a hearty. <laughs> Hello? Uh, is this Mr. Pierre? Yes. Well, I'm the fellow that you think you're going to kill tonight. Now listen to me, you cheap little brush pusher. If you think I'm going to waste my time coming over there, you're crazy. You'd better be here at 12 o'clock. If you're not... I'll search out every corner of this town until I find you. Uh, just a moment. My friend wishes to speak with you. Hello? This is me. Yeah. Say, listen, if you had a face like mine, you'd punch me right in the nose. And I'm just the fellow that can do it. I'm going to find your lover and kill him on the spot. Oh. It's a lucky thing for him that I decided not to go up there tonight. It sure is. <laughs> See who that is. It might be him. Hello? It sure is. Who was it? Oh, some fella having a joke. What did he say? Well, I said hello, and the fella said, it's a long distance from Atlanta, Georgia. And I said, it sure is. Silliest thing I ever I wish there was some way to put a stop to those practical jokers. They get on my nerves. Yeah. 
to be a small, big one. I can't serve you anymore. Oh, come on. You want me to lose my license? Go on, get out of here. Say, fellas, if you help me out, I'll help you out. Now listen, order me a straight whiskey on the side. Make out it's for you. And if you do that for me, I'll buy all the Christmas cards you got. Who's gonna pay for the drink? Sold. Garçon? Sure this is the right place? It must be. It's the same address that's on his card. So it is. You better put him to bed, boys. I think it's over there. Come on, put him in there, boys. Who did you expect? Oh, what happened? Nothing yet. Oh, I'm so glad. Naturally. But I'll find your lover was the last thing I ever do. Oh, don't be foolish, dear. You know you're the only man I ever loved. Look me in the eyes. Are you telling me the truth? Oh, of course it's the truth. Don't you understand? I merely did it to make you realize that you'd been neglecting me. I'm sorry. And I promise I'll never leave you alone again as long as I live. You told me to be here at 12 o'clock. But not in my wife's bed. Well, I got tired of waiting. Follow me. Now, what did you want to bring me back here for? I don't remember coming back here. <gasps> I don't know, but what I'm glad this is going to happen. Why? At least I'll be rid of you. Come on! Now, I'm coming. What did he say? He said, come. Never mind. Come on. He was here. Out of my way. That is more than I can stand. Oh. Do you understand the conditions and rules of this duel? No, sir. We stand back to back, take six paces, and at a given signal, we turn and fire. And the true shot wins. Understand? Yes, sir. Don't you worry. I've taken out the real bullets and put in blanks. So when he fires, you pretend to die. Then I'll get him out of here and you make your escape. Choose your weapon. This is for you to give the signal to fire. Are you ready, monsieur? Oui, monsieur. Yes, we pray. Au revoir, madame. Viva la France! Now look what you've done. So you would think so low as to try and shoot me in the back, you rat. Quick, Pierre. We've got to get out of here. Not until I dispose of the body. I am going to cut him up into little pieces. Come out now, he's gone. 